Well, the parents of Jordan McNair breaking their silence today exclusively this morning on ABC's Good Morning America. The father and mother of the University of Maryland player who died following a team workout now calling for more action to be taken by the school. Jordan McNair died in June, two weeks after suffering heat stroke while training with his Terps team. This week, the university accepted legal and moral responsibility for the 19-year-old's death after an ESPN report came to light, alleging a toxic culture of bullying and intimidation within the football program. And head football coach DJ Durkin remains on leave tonight, but that is not good enough for Jordan's family. WMAR 2 News' Sean Stepner joins us now with more on the reaction tonight from the parents of Jordan McNair. Yeah, Jamie and Kelly, the Terps football team continues to practice down in College Park with interim coach Matt Canada at the helm. Durkin is nowhere to be found, and according to Jordan McNair's parents, that is how it should stay. He shouldn't be able to work with anybody else's kid. In an exclusive interview with Good Morning America, Jordan McNair's parents say DJ Durkin should be fired. Yes, absolutely. You send your kid away to college for them to be developed into young people, and that's physically, emotionally, you know, spiritually, and just teach these people, teach our, our, young, our young kids, our young people that we work so hard to get there to, hey, I'm giving my child to you, keep him safe. And they did anything but that, so of course he should be fired. Jordan's mother says if the allegations of a toxic culture within the Maryland football program are true, that played a role in her son's untimely death. Jordan was the type of person that if you, he would give his all, he would give his best because someone asked him to do something. He will always give it his all. And so for him to, he wouldn't have stopped. He, would, he, would, he wouldn't have stopped. I said, I gotta get over the alleged Terps football culture was one built on coaches intimidating and humiliating players in front of their teammates. If that's the culture, then he didn't want to be called the names and things that they say that they, you know, that they've been called. On Tuesday, the school admitted mistakes were made by its training staff on May 29th, the day Jordan fell ill. His father says when they initially got the call on that day, it was about a seizure. They were shocked. He was a kid that was healthy for 19 years. This was the first time he was in the hospital since he was born. Initially, it was kind of hard to understand or wrap our minds around, you know, the severity of uh, a heat stroke. The University System of Maryland Board of Regents has called a special meeting for tomorrow morning. It will take place via a conference call. They want to be updated on what actions the University of Maryland has taken following McNair's death.